From the studios of Tucson Business Radio X, recorded in the Stewart Title Corporate Offices on Broadway, you are now listening to The Mark Bishop Show. And now here's your host, Mark Bishop. Well, welcome to another show. IBM offers Watson Assistant for Citizens to speed trusted responses to COVID-19 questions using artificial intelligence. Now, the good news is that IBM is working with government agencies, healthcare organizations, and academic institutions to put the most trusted data and information into the hands of us, the citizens. Toby, welcome. He's the Vice President, Tony Capello, in IBM's Data and Artificial Business. Welcome, my friend. Thank you, Mark. Good to be here. Wow. Um, This is amazing. Uh, Why did IBM develop Watson Assistant for Citizens? IBM developed Watson Assistant for Citizens to respond to the challenges that, as you stated before, government uh, agencies, healthcare institutions and academic institutions, the challenge they were seeing with an increased request for information. Uh, It's on the order of hundreds to thousands of uh, inquiries, whether it be from the phone or their website, about information, both general about COVID-19, but also specific to that institution or specific to their constituent base. So we launched Watson Assistant for Citizens. It's a virtual agent for these organizations to engage with on their website via text or what some people call a chatbot mm. or over the phone via conversation to get that information to them very quickly uh, and very accurately. So what we're doing is we're collecting information from generally valuable sources like the CDC and making sure that's being updated on a regular basis, but also specific information for those organizations themselves so those citizens can get that information. Marvelous. You know what? Star Trek has arrived, huh? So let me get this right then. <laughs> <laughs> the virtual agent, it's available online via via a chat bot or on the phone using your voice, and it uses artificial intelligence to put the most trusted data and information into the hands of us. It makes it sound very simple. Is that about it, Toby? That that is. It it is relatively simple. I mean, a lot of challenges with what people conjure up in their head around artificial intelligence, but the reality is with what we do with our firm's phones every day, we're interacting and asking questions all the time. This is exactly the same. The difference is we're we're bringing to bear the information specifically related to COVID-19 and specifically in the way they want to do it, whether it's chat on the website or via voice. Okay. And just like I said, to make it easier, we're doing this for free for 90 days. Well, there's a lot of stuff out there and around. And, uh, you know, yep. uh, fake media are also doing stuff to sell stuff everywhere. People are confused. Where does this actual data come from? So the data comes from a couple of different sources. So I'll give you an example. So uh, if we use the uh, city of Lancaster in Los Angeles County, if you go to their website in the bottom right-hand corner, you click the Watson icon and it pops up a, a little chat window and it gives you a couple of options. Those options are um, what is COVID-19? What are the symptoms? How do I protect myself? All of that information is IBM is information IBM is gathering from the CDC and sources like that and put it in there so it's ready to go when the city of Lancaster wants to use it. Then mm. the data also comes from the city of Lancaster because what's also coming from the city is uh, what are the available city services that are open right now? Um, what are the resources that I have for businesses and employees in my county? Mm-hmm. And then how do I get tested? And when you go to how do I get tested, you can click on a link that says here are all the locations in the county of Los Angeles that are testing locations. So the data is coming both from the organizations itself, but also some of these centralized trusted sources. Mm. Well, you had mentioned that IBM already is in discussions with government agencies and healthcare organizations right across the U.S. But also, this is interesting, globally, in the Czech Republic, uh, Finland, Greece, Italy, Poland, Spain, and many more, uh, to provide a virtual agent solution to their citizens. Is that right? That That is absolutely correct, Mark. I mean, this is a challenge that we're seeing globally. Uh, this is a challenge that every part of the globe is needing to provide information to their citizens uh, around what's going on generally about COVID-19, mm. but specific to the things that they can avail themselves of. And mm. so we're, we're happy and, and, and proud and honored to be a part of that. Um, and now, right now, what we're doing, trying to do is just get the get the voice out and get the engagement from those different institutions. Hey, welcome back. The rebirth of IBM, huh? <laughs> I tell you what, 50 states, <laughs> agencies, healthcare institutions, you're working with them all. Now, this is just 
one of the many initiatives, from what I understand, from IBM in helping uh, to aid the global fight against COVID-19 from a a new interactive map uh, from the weather company also to track the virus uh, to a consortium with the White House that taps supercomputers for accelerated research on treatments and ultimately a cure. That is correct. We, IBM has definitely stepped into and stepped up to how can we help in this in this challenging time? How can we make sure we get the benefit of our researchers, our researchers and our talent and our knowledge of the uh, the innovation that we have, as you mentioned, with from a computing standpoint, uh, what we're doing with weather.com and the Weather Channel and, and the information we can get there to show where uh, cases are and, and do be able to do that tracking. And then as it relates to the citizen, uh, Watson Assistant for Citizen Initiative, to give citizens more information more quickly. Hmm. I'm speaking with Toby Capello. He's the vice president in IBM's data and artificial business. Now, Toby, what other types of businesses are using Watson Assistant? Yeah, thanks for asking, Mark. So uh, I think it's... Uh, it's important to, to, to note that Watson Assistant has been around for quite a while, a number of years. This solution around Watson Assistant for Citizens is focused on this current crisis and this current challenge these organizations have. But we've been working with organizations to leverage virtual agents for quite a while. For example, uh, Geico Insurance Company has Watson Assistant where you can ask questions via the website about automobile insurance. As you can guess, there's specific information about automobile insurance and general information. The general information may be, what is it? How do I get it? What's the coverage? Things like that. Um, specific information may be um, to you, the state that you live in and what are the regulations in the state? What's the type of car that you have and how does that relate? And then what they're able to do from a business payback perspective is if they answer those questions quickly and accurately, they convert a higher percentage of those website visits to actual applications and for insurance uh, with GEICO. And so uh, <laughs> every industry is leveraging AI and, and virtual agents. Uh, that just happens to be one example, Mark. Yeah, it's amazing. You know what it reminds me of? You go way back to that movie, um, 2001 A Space Odyssey. And I think it was Al. Was Al the supercomputer? <laughs> <laughs> and years later, of course, we've got, uh, you know, we've got Alexa happening. We ask things and give orders to and all the rest of it. But uh, this particular thing with Watson, I have seen the TV ads. It looks rather incredible, really. We're, do, we're able to do a lot more things with the with the capabilities around artificial intelligence and with the capabilities we have around uh, the power of computers today. And it does make it more generally acceptable and, and, and accessible for innovations for a lot of businesses. Uh, and you're going to see a lot more of that happen. And I'm just, I'm glad it can can help us specifically now. Oh yeah, in this really trying time. Is it ever? My word. So, listeners, if uh, you'd like to read up on this, it's fascinating, isn't it? Uh, as I understand it, this website, Toby, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, HTTPS. I always go just dub 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 www dot ibm dot com slash forward slash cloud forward slash Watson dash assistant forward slash. Now, that's a lot to remember. What's what's the easiest way people can read up on this and go there? Yeah, so if you if you have that written down or you can uh, listen to the website, you can go there. If you just want to uh, search for uh, IBM Watson Assistant, you'll get there as well. So that's the best place to go to learn both about Watson Assistant, but specifically around Watson Assistant for Citizens. Okay, and we'll come back on that in a second. Now, as Vice President of Industry Architecture, it's most unusual designation, uh, client success with IBM's data and artificial business. Business today, you know, everybody's suffering through this horrible thing. Um, uh, uh, what are they asking you mostly for? How are they asking you for help, IBM? Um, it really relates to some of the things we're doing around Watson Assistant for Citizen, but it is my business is changing. I need to do different things differently. I need to innovate. How can you help me? And so we've talked about government agencies, healthcare agencies, and uh, mm-hmm. educational institutions. But think of, think about the rest of businesses. So think about if you go into the the uh, travel and transportation. Uh, are you open? When are you going to be open? If you think about food and, and beverage, do you do delivery? How can you do delivery? So there's really a lot of what I would call simple, but it's, it, it, it serves a big purpose information requests that folks are, are, are asking about. Well, let's think about in the automotive. Uh, if somebody was in the market to buy a car, you can't go into a dealership today. How can I really find more information about a car that I'm interested in? So what we're really seeing is, and, and you and I, Mark, right, we're now working differently than we did before. 
so how can I bring a different level of information and engagement model to organizations and institutions uh, in light of what's going on? And I think it's going to change a lot of things for us going forward. Uh, and a lot of folks are trying to respond to that uh, today. And so mm. this is COVID, but what's what the what's the broader impact that COVID is going to have on all of our businesses and the way we engage with them? Well, it's, it's, it's proving that, isn't it? It's it's a very scary and frightening yeah. time. Uh, I think I read this morning something like 130,000 restaurants alone to close uh, in the United States of America over the next uh, month or two. That's pretty scary. So we have to think now yeah. of the future in various ways, and that's what you're doing. Um, yeah, it's pretty bad. I, I could do with a little robot. I wish you could invent an office robot that did a million other things as an assistant, I tell you that um one man bands working from home uh, can be you know exhausting but anyway for more information folks all right i'll give it to you again a dub 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 that's www.ibm.com forward slash cloud c-l-o-u-d forward slash watson w-a-t-s-o-n dash assistant a double S I S T A N T forward slash. And I do that because some people tell me, they say, well, you, you know, take it easy and spell it out, please. So Toby, there we go. Anything else you'd like to add, mate? No, I appreciate the time today, Mark. And I appreciate what everybody's uh, endeavoring as a part of this current time. And, and, we want to help the businesses and the agencies as much as we possibly can. So thanks for the time. Yeah, that's fantastic. And thanks, IBM, for what you're doing and your role there, mate. We're all working in this together. Ladies and gentlemen, on the Mark Bishop Show, there was Toby Capello. He's vice president in IBM's data and artificial business. I hope you enjoyed that. 